how I started. I started buying duplexes and I had a partner. We'd buy some. I'd put one on his credit, one on my credit. You know, maybe we'd burr it, do the buy, rehab, you know, rent, refinance, and then pull our money back out. But my first bigger deal that I got into was an apartment out in Tooele. And so this is a version of a syndication. The reality is, is we were all four general partners, but I think maybe the lesson that I learned is applicable to anybody trying to get into their first deal, whether it's big or small, a syndication or whatever you want to call it. I was in the master's program up at the University of Utah. I did the MRED up there in 2013. And at the time I thought I was maybe looking for a little bit of a different future for me. I didn't just like, what am I doing in life? You know? And so maybe I thought I'd get a job with a bigger sponsor or developer or someone doing bigger deals. But I think what I learned there is what I was doing was really good. I just needed to get better at it and maybe scale up a little bit more. But up to that point, I hadn't really bought anything bigger than a fourplex. And so I remember being on auction.com bidding on this 14 unit apartment in Tooele and I'd never even seen the thing, but I won the bid. Quickly put together the money. What was that feeling like, by the way? It was exciting, but I was kind of stupid because I was like, I thought I read the contract way too quick and I thought it was $5,000 earnest money. I docu signed everything and I wired 5,000 bucks and they called me the next day and they said, you know, this happens every once in a while, but I think you forgot a zero. It's 50,000 <laughs> and it was non-refundable. And so I'm like, crap, I got 45 days to close. This is, you know, at the time it seemed like money that was not there to be found. It was $770,000 for these 14 units. So what I did was I had relationships with existing partners and I also had a relationship with an existing lender that had helped me out in the past with funding my fix and flips. I immediately did two things. I immediately drove out to Twilla, <laughs> made sure that the building was actually there. You know, I had online done all my research on the pro formas, the financials, the rent roll, all that kind of stuff. And then I called up my three partners that we ended up doing the deal with and I talked to them to see what kind of capital they have, how interested they were in doing the deal. They were all thumbs up. They're like, if it looks good to you, it looks good to me. And then I called my investor and said, listen, I got to come meet with you. It ended up being awesome. So we sat down with him and he's like, yeah, I'll fund it for you if you guys put 10% down. And so, you know, call it a syndication. It was a quick syndication with bridge short-term money. So we were able to pull that off in 45 days from me putting it under contract. And so the lesson I learned was say yes. If the deal's good, you're going to find the money and you're going to find the partners, but you need to take action and move. And so I had existing relationships with all these people. We'd always performed in the past. They trusted me. You know, I just filed the tax return today on that apartment. We've owned it now for seven years. It's been a winner from day one. We don't have any money into the deal anymore. I mean, it's a winner relative to the size of it. It's probably almost paid us back half through cash flow from what the original cost was.